hello, welcome back to my channel. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Helen, this is Ash. We've got a really nice weekend planned. If you watched my last video, it's a bit of a come down post Gymshark 66 challenge. And I'm just a tired human in general, so for my birthday, my family knew it was an amazing idea to buy us a night in a hotel. So that is where we're going now. We're going to Canary Wharf to the Britannia International Hotel and we're going to stop off at Shake Shack on the way because it's the weekend and calories don't count. No low calories. Oh, so birthday calories. Oh, birthday birthday present. calories. Birthday calories. <laughs> Yes, please. Your cheese? I have no more fries at Let me take your menu, sir. So about the shoes. Uh, I got I got a cheeseburger. It's the single cheeseburger. Yes, it's some cheese fries. Cause cheese fries. Cheese makes you happy. Cheese the hotel and I have showered and face masked um, so I've made a mess of the bathroom already but it has a nice big mirror they gave us an upgrade because it was a birthday present I got my Lumi spa my face mask and my amazing wash bag from lid this is all I did have a beautiful shower cap on which I only just took off because I thought I want to film and look how nice and thick the room is. Bing. Ash is logging onto the Wi-Fi. <coughs> huh? <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna watch Game of Thrones, I think. And chill. Going for dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shall have a seafood jump on. We've got black skinnies. I shall rip because he's cool. I shall hey dudes. I got boots. However, 
it was at first I thought it smelled like school dinners and then maybe it was just because of the average age it then started to smell like a retirement home which is there were some really nice retirement homes but this was smelled like and not so nice a retirement home I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say we laughed a lot which was great but we just had to leave uh, plus our room's really hot and really stuffy <laughs> and it's just hilarious it felt like we were I mean what do you reckon average age 70 uh, I don't really think that's a push like a genuinely average age 70 anyway so well we're in like Canary Wharf where there's nothing around but with we didn't like the look of the desserts there so maybe we're gonna get some chocolate and then some monster for the morning because that's where breakfast is Tesco um, and I said well how, how wrong can you go with an English breakfast but I pointed out that if that English breakfast has been sat there for 50 years then it's not, <laughs> you know, anyway. I'm not saying it is <laughs> Good morning. We are slightly tired. Hold it. Oh, your voice. I'm bad for it. Oh. Um, <coughs> we are going for breakfast early-ish because we thought that old people would go later. That's so funny. <laughs> Did you? The old people will go later. Well, we don't know. I, th I think they will. I think they won't be there before. Whereas I think they'll all be going tourist in, so I think they'll go early for breakfast. Oh, good shower. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so we'll Just see what see happens. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get <laughs> this is how you actually do breakfast. You put it inside your croissant. He knows. We've just been. This is very strange. We've just been sat watching Game of Thrones. Two Game of Thrones. <laughs> we watched two episodes. And now we have to check out. Winter's coming. And she's being strange. <laughs> We're just discussing whether Ash counts as a millennial or not. I don't think I count as a millennial because I'm too old. Well, you're definitely not. If you're not a millennial, I definitely am. No, not. I know, but you think you are. I think I'm in the middle. Like, there's that. People say that millennials are like 85 up. I, I thought millennials were like people that don't know what um, dial up internet is. No, so and lack of mobile phones and stuff. Like millennials are kids that grew up using an iPad at school. Oh God, let me ask Siri. Well, that's Siri. Hey Siri. What classes you as a millennial? My web search is something up. What classes you as a millennial? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, here you go. Oh no, here we go. Let's, let's have a read. Years will limit uh, Metro. Metro knows all. I don't know. This is not a What is a millennial? If you're born between the early eight, 1980s and the mid 1990s, you, you, my friend, are a millennial. I knew it. It's 85. Everyone says it. Uh, oh, so what's the new generation called? Is that like Channel generation X? Z or something? Fuck, I don't know. Let's see, we know it's eco boomers, 80s, 90s. If you're familiar with emerging digital technology, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it was created in 93, uh, 19th century. Uh, GI, generally. Oh, we don't know. 
the just going through, just it's going back and back and back. The generation X. The MTV generation. <laughs> Uh, What's that? The most recent generation to be named is Generation Z, that starts in the mid 1990s. Our Generation Z. Well, no, you're technically still Generation. You're still. I'm still, still millennial. We're like. Yeah, that's what it says. Generation Z is this generation. 1990s, mid 1990s. Would be characterised by the mass usage of the internet from a young age, fear of control of technology, and interaction on social media growing up through the Great Recession may have given the generation the feeling of unsettlement or insecurity. There you go. So, so what are you? Are millennial. Wait, that's at mid-80s. Mid I thought I'm technically a bit of a millennial. <laughs> Almost a millennial, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a millennial. I'm not going to say it. I almost said bitch. That's okay. Yeah. We made it to the gym. I have not stopped sweating because our hotel room was so warm and this gym is bloody boiling as well. That's great. We have left the gym and we're walking back into like Canary Wharf shopping centre for lunch. We were going to go out for cocktails last night but we didn't. So we have like some budget left for today. So we've decided to have lunch and we're going to go to Pizza Express. Airborne pizza. I've never had this pizza before. I'm nervous. Ash got what you always get because it's solid choice. Pizza was good but it won't become my regular order. You know, I enjoyed it, but I won't be ordering it again. I've left Ash at Black Sheep Coffee and I'm going to ask Janice to meet the girls and then we're gonna reconvene later to basically watch Game of Thrones again. Yay. morning it's Sunday I have just been to the gym and I'm walking to work oh and I can't see it's great Um, trained shoulders and it was my first workout since last weekend yesterday we just did loads of mobility and foam rolling uh, yes yeah, you watched my last video I was talking about being like achy and tired and feeling ill and under the weather and pants and I still feel a bit like that, but anyway, that's not for this vlog. Um, so shoulder workout, we did four sets of dumbbell shoulder presses, four sets heavier plate loaded, then we did push presses, superset with upright rows, then we did Y, like diagonal presses, superset with lateral raises, and then we did tricep push ups to finish, and it was really good. And now I'm going to work. Feels like time is going faster than it seems. We're just two kids who are trying to live the teenage dream. We could see no. for work it's been a busy sort of hectic weekend but I did manage to get eight hours sleep on Friday night Friday night and eight hours sleep last night and then I think I'll probably manage about seven and a half maybe seven if we go to bed like now yes I since Gymshark 6 finished it's been two weeks first week I just felt demotivated and tired and the previous week no <coughs> last week was the armpit lump and being run down so this weekend has been busy but restful I think so 
let's go Monday tomorrow. Um, hey. um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next one. And until then, stay happy and healthy. See you in my next one. And until then, stay happy and healthy. Bye.